Remember how your calorie balance is the number one determinant of your diet success and that there are three different states of calorie balances, negative, positive, and neutral? Of course, to reach any of the three states, you will have to know how many calories your body expands every day. There are several different equations and strategies you can use to calculate this value. Some of them are more or less accurate and more or less difficult than others. I will now show you the easiest and most straightforward way, which is to calculate your TDE. Your TDE describes your total daily energy expenditure, which is the number of calories that your body burns in one day. It is calculated by estimating how many calories you burn while resting, called the basal metabolic rate, or BMR, and adding a certain number of calories on top depending on how often you exercise. If you were to consume roughly the same amount of calories as your TDE, you would be in a neutral calorie balance. If you consume more calories than your TDE, you would be in a positive calorie balance, and if you consume fewer calories than your TDE, you would be in a negative calorie balance. The simplest method of calculating your TDE is by using an online calculator, such as the one I linked in the bonus lecture. It will ask you for your age, weight, height, and weekly exercise. While the result will not be 100% accurate, since we all have different metabolisms and BMRs, it will give you a good idea of how many calories you need to consume in order to maintain your current weight. If this is not exact enough for you, or you feel the value you got from the online calculator is a little off, you want to do the following. Use the estimated TDE value and consume around this number of calories every day. Next, weigh yourself twice a week and monitor changes in your weight. If you are losing weight, the estimated TDE value was too low and you should increase it by around 100 calories. If you are gaining weight, the estimated TDE value was too high and you should decrease it by 100 calories. Continue the strategy until your weight stagnates, which is the point where you have found your true TDE. To make things easier for you, let's take the example of a man who weighs 180 pounds, is 6 foot or 180 centimeters tall, and 25 years old. If we assume that he trains 3 to 4 times a week at high intensity, his TDE will lie anywhere between 2,500 and 2,700 calories per day. You would then start with one of the two values and diet accordingly for about 10 days to 2 weeks. If after this period you see you are gaining weight, you will have to decrease your initial calorie value, and if you are losing weight, increase it. Now keep in mind that this value will be a lot lower if you don't or only rarely exercise. A 180 pound 6 foot man that doesn't exercise has a TDE of around 2000 to 2200 calories. This is almost 500 calories less per day. Getting such a difference right can make or break your diet as you will see in the next lesson.